Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my career. In my previous Daiso video, I took you shopping at a three-story Daiso, but we were only able to explore the first floor which had a bunch of cute fall items. And in today's video, we're going to check out the rest of the store. But first, I want to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life and all the circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions. I think you guys would really enjoy the classes on watercolor illustration, drawing, and brush lettering. I recently took a class with Mike Lowry called Sketchbook Illustration, Draw a Personal Colorful Travel Map. I learned how to layer with different mediums and really make my drawings pop. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. At a time when so many important conversations are happening in our world, your voice is more essential than ever. Explore classes to unlock your creativity for social good. For a limited time, use the link in my description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So we're in the Disney section and I've shown you guys most of this stuff, but I've never seen these Pooh Bear and Piglet pouches before. I think these are new and these are also new. These are pass cases where you can put your subway card in here or your ID card and it has a little pulley string so you could easily swipe it. These kind of remind me of those things that they sell at Disneyland. If you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I would be so appreciative if you guys could subscribe and watch my videos all the way through, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below because it really helps my channel to grow. Over here they have the Toy Story stuff. What I don't understand about Toy Story is why they always include Lotso as like a character when they sell merch because I would never want to buy anything with Lotso on it because he was such a bad character. Leave a comment below if you like Lotso. Oh, Inside Out was such a good movie. I think it's one of my favorite Pixar movies of all time. They sure have a lot of Toy Story merch here. I grew up during the 80s mostly and early 90s, so some of the more formative Disney movies were like Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin and Toy Story came out when I was a little bit older so it didn't leave as big of an impression on me as some of these princess movies and then when I compare that to my kids they're kind of growing up in the age of Frozen and also Moana so my daughter Sienna really gravitates a lot more towards those Disney characters than any of the other ones and I'm really glad that some of the more recent movies started placing the princesses in more active roles where they really take charge instead of being passive victims. I think that Elsa and Moana are much better role models for my kids than some of these other princesses. Anyway, I would really like to know what your favorite Disney movies are, so leave a comment in the description box and let me know. This is a little sticky thing that you could put on the side of your computer monitor and use it to stick up reminder notes to yourself. Okay, so I'm stopping by the pencil case area. I don't think I've seen this pink iridescent one before. That's really pretty. And this house pencil case is also new. Sienna has this Bambi pencil case, but I don't think I've seen the Winnie the Pooh one before. And I always like to stop by here and see if they have anything that's new because you can never have enough I mean, you can use them for colored pencils as well as your regular pens and pencils, and I just think that these are really handy. They have a nice selection of pencil toppers. These are to prevent your pencil lead from breaking when your pencil is in your pencil case. They have some really cute Pekko-chan stuff here lately, including the pencil toppers as well as this lead pencil. And I think they also had a pencil case, so this would make a really nice set. I like these little Zootopia and Toy Story lead refills, really cute. 
And here are all the different pencil sharpeners. I found that the Daiso pencil sharpeners are not the best though, to be honest. My favorite pencil sharpener is actually this green Caro 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 P Sanrio pencil sharpener that I've saved from the 80s or 90s when I was a child. Whenever I come here, I always like to look at the notebooks and see if there's anything cute. I wish Daiso would make more notebooks with plain paper inside of them because my kids like to use these as drawing books, but it seems like the notebooks always have lines. So they're meant for writing and taking notes, but I think that they should make more plain paper notebooks. Over here they have a few different bags for traveling and also some reusable totes. So if you came to Daiso and you forgot to bring your own reusable plastic bag, then you can just buy a reusable bag here. Over here they have a bunch of markers and highlighters and pens. And to be honest, I feel like some of these pens don't always work that well. I kind of prefer to buy the Monami ones at Artbox. Even though they're a little bit more expensive, they're still super affordable. Have you ever used these cute paper clips? If you do, leave a comment and let me know what you use them for. I feel like with paper clips, I just kind of prefer the simple ones because sometimes those fancy ones seem like they're so nice and I have to use them for only special things. But then nothing is really special enough for me to use the paper clips. So a lot of times, the fancy paper clips end up going unused. Over here they have these plastic cutters and these are so useful if you order a lot of stuff online like me. You can use them to cut open your boxes really easily. And those are really cheap stick scissors up there. Here is some book binding tape that looks like it comes from Japanese Daiso. And I was really tempted to buy this because this looks like the type of useful item that I will think of in like three years and regret not buying this for 2001 at Daiso because, I don't know, it just seems like it's something that might come in handy at a future time. But right now I can't figure out what I'm going to use it for so I decided not to get it. And these are really cute bookends. I feel like these things always fall down and they don't really work properly unless you're using them to hold up paperback books. OMG, Daiso Korea finally got the rotating stapler. So I found this at Daiso Japan and I kept searching for it at Daiso Korea but they never had it and they finally got the rotating stapler so I'm gonna have to get at least one of them even though I already have two in my stash. These metal bookmarks are really pretty. I think this would make a cute souvenir for somebody if you're visiting Korea. So here are a bunch of little milky Pekochan pouches and other little coin purses. I think these can be handy if you're visiting a foreign country and you have a lot of change in that foreign currency and you kind of want to keep it separate from your other money. Anyway, that's what I use them for. Here's another thing that I like to get at Daiso. These are little pouches that you can use to organize your clothes in your suitcase so that everything doesn't get all mixed up. And it's kind of nice to have an extra one for your laundry so you can keep your dirty clothes separate from your clean clothes, at least if you're not planning on doing laundry while you're traveling. I think I showed you guys these before, but these are all the different macaron tape dispensers. And the only problem with those tape dispensers is that you have to get an extra small roll of tape, which can be kind of hard to find if you want to refill them. Dice is also a great place to come to get party supplies. I always like to get those birthday balloons as well as banners and decorations for my kids birthday when I decorate the house and these confetti balloons are actually super pretty they look a lot more expensive than they actually are and isn't this the little toast plushy the cutest thing ever I think it's so cute but we have way too many plushies in our house thanks to our Japanese UFO catcher days I love these gift boxes. They are reusable and they are also great for storing things. Do you guys use aroma diffusers? I don't really use them because I feel like they contain carcinogens. I don't use anything with fragrance in my house. These look like they're all the bath items. I love those Korean scrubby towels. Over here they have the baby stuff and I saw this whale thing that you can use to cover the bath spout. 
This used to be something that you could buy at Target for like $8 or something. I think it was from the brand Skip Hop and I still have it. I used it when Sienna was a baby. It will cover up the bath faucet so the kids don't bang their head on it or also if hot water is coming out, the faucet can get really hot so it can come in really handy. And this is another one of my favorite sections in Daiso. I love all these different storage bins. I mean, at Target this would cost probably triple the price and granted the quality is not the best here but it's not bad. These angel wings, people will put them on their doors to prevent them from damaging other people's doors, which I think is so considerate. And in Korea, the parking spaces are so tight and people drive such big cars, so they really actually come in handy. And these are little plastic devices that you can stick in your air vent and they have a magnet in the center so that you can mount your smartphone on it if you need to use your smartphone for directions, like using it as a GPS. There are just so many random useful car accessories here. Here are some little solar powered bobbleheads. I guess you could put this on your dashboard, but... I don't know, it looks like it might be distracting. And here are a bunch of cute rugs. Probably not the best quality rugs, but they do have some cute designs here. I did get some unicorn rugs back when they had the unicorn line out, and they just were really bad quality and they ended up not lasting that long. We still have them, but they're really dirty, but they were only $5, so you do get what you pay for. These little knotted throw pillows I think are really fun. I've seen these at some nicer hotels and they have this like 5001 version here at Daiso. Okay, so now we're in the little tin section. They have some Mickey Mouse ones and I think you can use these as like home decor. There are a lot of different flower planters here if you want to have like a mini indoor garden. These are all super cheap and you can probably put together like a really cute collection of pots here, but they're all really small. They don't have a ton of large pots at Daiso. These are little heat packs you can put on your feet and my sisters-in-law were really into these when they visited us and walked all over in Japan and in Korea. And here's some really cute sleeping masks. Over here they have a bunch of different candle holders. This frozen one is really cute, but I don't think I would actually put that in my house. I think candles could be really pretty, but they're such a fire hazard I end up not really using them. This Mickey plate is super cute. I think that that ginkgo plate is really pretty and great for fall. And here's some miniature kimchi pots. You could use them to store spices or sugar. And here's another one of my favorite sections in Daiso. This is kind of like the organization slash home decor section. I have a couple of these wire grids and I'm probably going to put them up again at some point when I find the right spot in my house. And I love these baskets for organizing things. I think this is a really pretty design. And I also like this woven one. These ones look like you can buy them at Target or something like that. And these are also really pretty. It's really hard to decide which ones I like best. I kind of want to get all of them, but I want to have the same look and feel throughout my house. So you kind of just have to pick one design and stick with it, I think. My husband and I love these little boxes where you can organize your stuff. My husband uses them for fishing and I use them for craft items like beads. They're super handy and they're so cheap and I think this would cost like two to three times as much back in the States. So some of the video footage from this haul seems to be missing, but I'm just going to show you what I have. These six scissors are so amazing and so cheap and I just decided to get a couple of extra to keep in my stash in case I needed to gift it to somebody. I'm a big fan of flake stickers and I thought that these Toy Story ones were super adorable. They look slightly different than the actual Toy Story characters, but they're really cute. This is a little Disney princess activity book that I got for my kids. You can use the ink pad that they include to make little thumbprint designs like musical notes and fruit and cupcakes. 
And I decided to get another rotating stapler in case I need to gift it to somebody, I'm not sure who. So I just wanted to have an extra one in my stash. Check out these two playlists right here for more shopping and Korea videos. And as always, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't become a channel member yet, then go to the front of my YouTube page and click the join button. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!